Okay. Hello. Um, for those that don't know me, I'm Toe Grinder. I'm a Maze Theory Crafter, Guide Writer, Contributor, and Expert in the Ultra Time Discord. I'm going to talk about Fire Mage in this video. If you want my thoughts on the general tree, I'm not going to go over it in this video. I have a video specifically for that, so I'll link it and click it. If you want to see the general tree first, um, if you're interested in the other two specs, I'll also link those. But okay, um, so how I'm going to do this, I'm just going to go through the tree. I'm going to read ability by ability. I'm going to go through a couple of sample builds that I'll be playing about with, and then I'll give some general feedback on the tree at the end. So starting off, uh, Pyroblast. Hopefully you know what that does. Um, Fireblast. Fireblast is baseline. This is like an additional rank of Fireblast, essentially. It's actually an extra spell, but it's what gives it cast while casting and off global cooldown. Um, so Fireblast, Flame Strike. You're kind of... There's an issue here where these are all one point, so you kind of reach this point in the tree, and then you... Oh, you can make choices. Okay, nice. Right, so Fireblast, Flame Strike. Scorch and Hot Streak. So these are kind of, there are a lot of hard locks in this tree. So if I just go down all of the hard locks, I suppose, you need Fireball to make the spec work. Fire Blast needed to make the spec work. And then we can kind of branch out from here. So I'll start reading the other talents. So Flame Strike, Flame Strike cast times reduced and radius is increased. Okay, um, seems okay. I don't know why they keep encouraging us to hard cast flame strike it's probably one of the most boring aoe rotations i've ever seen in world of warcraft um, anything that encourages hard casting flame strike i think is a bad idea um, then our other options are searing touch versus fire starter um yeah i mean it's going to be searing touch a lot of the time but as we have seen in a, in a couple of tiers there have been times where fire starter has been good you know like uh sylvanas uh, sludge fist uh, even going back to like Argus, although I suppose you didn't have Searing, you weren't competing with Searing Touch then. Yeah, so I mean, Sylvanas, Sludge Fist, there's examples of this expansion. Uh, Lehuvum as well, some people play Firestarter, some people play Searing Touch. So like, it, it can happen even if you're playing Searing Touch most of the time, which is I think what we want out of a, a talent like this. Uh, and then here's the issue is that you can't progress without taking Flame Strike. So basically everything here is kind of like hard locked, you don't really get a choice. Um, so the next row is Improve Scorch. So whenever you cast Scorch on a target in Execute, it gives them a stacking 2% damage buff, stacking up to three times. And the movement speed from Forenic Speed is built into this, or about it's 4% after two points. Um, yeah, fine. If you're, You'll probably be taking it single target all the time. Uh, critical Mass spells have increased chance to crit, and you gain more crit from the actual stat. Um, very, very good. It's... You kind of need to crit to play fire. I know crit is generally not very good for fire, but the reason it's not good for fire is because you get things like this for free. Uh, cauterize. <laughs> We'd probably be taking this a lot of the time anyway, but it leads into combustion, so you're definitely taking it. Uh, and then flame on. Uh, reduces the cooldown of fire blast and increases the maximum number of charges. And you put two points in, so that gives you um, flame on as it is today. And then conflagration. Uh, fireball applies a dot, that dot has a chance to pulse AoE. Uh, improved Blazing Barrier, Blazing Barrier's damage is increased, so if you didn't know whenever someone hits you with Blazing Barrier up, they take damage. Um, I don't think I will spec into this the entire expansion, but we'll see. Um, and then the next row is where, from here down, you start to see some interesting choices. So Phoenix Flames uh, no longer spreads Ignite. Uh, Ignite is spread by Fire Blast, and that is baseline. Uh, so whenever you fire blast, ignite spreads to four additional targets. Uh, it's currently three in game. It hits four targets total, but I think it's meant to be four, so it would hit five targets total. Um, combustion, uh, one hundred percent crit, and flame patch. Uh, the right side of the tree here with is very AOE focused. So let's say hypothetically, I'm creating a rate build first. So I'll go with combustion. Um, a lot of people, first time they go through this, are, yeah, okay, Phoenix Flames, obviously. I don't think, I think Phoenix Flames is a massive bait. I'm going to take it and sh so I can show you why later on. So, rank 2 Phoenix Flames, it gains an additional charge. It has two charges by default. This puts you back up to 3. Then you have a choice node between Alexstrasza's Fury. So, Phoenix Flames and Dragon's Breath always crit and give you Hot Streak. And then from the Ashes, uh, Mastery increased by 2% for each charge of Phoenix Flames off cooldown. 
and your direct damage crits reduce its cooldown by one second. And then Fire Mind, Consuming Hot Streaks grants you 1% increased intellect. I know there, I think the tooltip is bugged on this and it says crit in game, but it, it is supposed to be intellect. Um, a choice node between Combustion Duration, so it's the, the spell is called Combustion Duration, but it also makes Combustion Grant Mastery equal to 50% of your crit. And then Tempered Flames, Pyroblast has a 35% reduced cast time and a 15% increased critical strike chance. The duration of Combustion is reduced by 50%. Um, so this second one, Tempered Flames, I think is an attempt to make, like, non-combustion Fire Mage builds. We'll see how that pans out. I generally think that talents like this don't end up being a good idea. I think I'm all for making new fancy builds that change gameplay. Like, I think those things are interesting. But, like, just spamming Hardcast Fire Blast, it feels like talents like this either end up a massive meme or end up super degenerate if they're good. And like, I do, I do want to encourage Blizzard to experiment with different playstyles, but I, I don't think this is it. Another issue with the combustion duration one is combustion with like, this is really bad. Not because of the duration, but because mastery literally does nothing then because it's just ignite damage outside combustion, which is nothing. Um, I would really like to see the mastery buff be moved onto combustion and then this improved combustion duration to like increase the mastery buff so if base combustion was 50% mastery and this was a talent to put it up to like 75% mastery or something like that i think would be a lot better um blaster master uh fire blast increases your mastery by blah 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 for three seconds effect stacks up to three uh this was our an azurite trait in battle for azeroth it's what inspired infernal cascade big difference between this is you cannot maintain it while using something like Phoenix Flames. So with Infernal Cascade, you can go like Fire Blast, Pyro Blast, then Phoenix Flames as your next builder, Pyro Blast again, and then Fire Blast as your next builder. And you alternate builders, and within those builders, you alternate between Fire Blast and Phoenix Flames, which works because Infernal Cascade lasts five seconds. But with Blaster Master, you can't do that because if you Fire Blast, Pyro Blast, and then Phoenix Flames, Blaster Master will drop before you get a chance to Fire Blast again. That's one of the reasons that I think Phoenix Flames isn't good, but there are also more. Um, it is very powerful on both single target and cleave. Um, fun ability. A uh, big thing, if you've only played with Infernal Cascade and not Blaster Master, Blaster Master does work outside Combustion, which adds a little bit more play to the spec, which I think is good. Um, so we take that. We'll take Hot Streak giving me Intellect is good, and we'll take Combustion Duration. So the next row is Phoenix Reborn. Um, targets affected by Ignite have a chance to pulse damage and reduce the remaining cooldown of Phoenix Flames. This was a trait in Legion. The It says here that it has an internal cooldown. I don't know if it had an internal cooldown in Legion, but basically what it did in Legion was the more targets you have Ignite on, the lower your Phoenix Flames cooldown is, which is kind of nice. It adds such a bit more interaction with the spell. Uh, Tinder, if you have not cast Fireball for 8 seconds, your next one does more damage and has her just cast time. Um, probably garbage. I think it's more of a PvP talent. Um, wildfire ignite deals extra damage and when you activate combustion you gain crit and allies gain crit a very small amount of crit but i don't know it's nice little very small amount of rage utility um not thing that you'd ever bring a mage for but it helps you feel useful and then master flame ignite deals 25 percent more damage while combustion is not active and it spreads to four additional enemies during combustion so that should take the total spread targets up to, from four to eight um which means you should be igniting nine targets in total which is quite good um the ignite damage outside combustion not that impactful a lot of your ignite a lot of your damage comes from combustion and ignite comes from wherever your damage comes from and combustion gives you a mastery buff so ignite doesn't do a lot of damage outside combustion but whatever it's one point it's low investment and the fire blast spread is quite good Okay, Control Destruction. Pyroblast's initial damage is increased by 5%. Does this go up to 10%? 10% when the target is above 70% health or below 30%. Very good. A lot of your damage is Pyroblast. If you look at a damage breakdown, you will see Ignite is quite big, but your Ignite damage just came from your Pyroblast damage anyway, so that is also going to go up. Um, very good synergy with Searing Touch. Very good synergy with Fire Starter. Very good talent. Uh, Pyromaniac. Casting Pyroblast or Flame Strike while Hot Streak is active has a chance to instantly reactivate Hot Streak. Okay. 
So I said this in the general video, and I will probably say it in the mall. Just because a talent is bad today doesn't mean it's bad now in these new trees. Tal there's, talents will be competing against different things. You will be, the choices you make will be different. The context in which your spec exists is different. It's important to not be biased and say, oh yeah, this talent sucks today because it's competing against Searing Touch and Firestarter, which are both really, really good talents. Like they're a choice node over here. Um, just because it's been compete historically competing against better talents doesn't mean it's bad. I'm not saying that this talent is really good, but I'm just saying you need to, you should be approaching all of these with a bit more of an open mind than maybe you would initially think. Um, Pyroclasm, Consuming Hot Streak has a chance to make your next hard cast deal extra damage, and Fevered Incantation. Um, same as the Legendary, same as the Legion trait. Running through this row because your choice is going to be influenced by the last row. Sun King's Blessing, after consuming 8 hot streaks, your next non-instant Pyroblast cast or Flame Strike doesn't set on the tooltip, similar to today, but it does trigger off Flame Strike, grants you combustion for 6 seconds. Kindling, 1 second CDR and crits, still doesn't work with Scorch, please make it work with Scorch. And Fiery Rush, which is our current 4 set, so combustion is active, Fire Blast and Phoenix Flames recharge 50% faster. And then Fire Frenzy, this is basically the legendary Firestorm today. When Hot Streak activates, you have a low chance to cause all Pyroblast and Flame Strikes to have no cast time and be guaranteed Critical Strike. The reason I've shown this row is, before the picking anything here, is because obviously your choices here are going to be influenced in the last row. Fire Frenzy, I see as much more of an AoE talent. Um, whenever you spend Hot Streaks on AoE, it's kind of not very responsive because you don't get a Hot Streak back like the way you do on Single Target. Whereas Fire Frenzy doesn't care about Hot Streak, it just makes them instant. So if this procs on AoE, you can spam Flame Strike and you don't run into those issues of not getting Hot Streak the way you do on Single Target. Um, on Single Target though, the it, it's, it's not very impressive. It, it's fine. Like if you take this in Mythic Plus because you want the AoE aspect and it ends up being okay on Single Target, like fine, whatever. Um, but I think for Single Target, you're going to be looking at these two. So I think this is an interesting choice. Um, Kindling versus Fiery Rush on paper is a nice choice because it's, okay, do you want to have more combustions or do you want to have a bigger combustion? Um, I don't think the two are tuned very well. I think Fiery Rush is a decent bit better. I could be being biased because we have Fiery Rush today. And I don't know, it's just a good talent. But, or a, it's a set bonus today, but it would be a good talent. Um, it It's an interesting idea, though, of this idea of bigger cooldowns versus more cooldowns. Um, I do like what they're going for with this, but they might just need to watch out a little bit and make sure that the numbers are tuned okay on this so that there's an actual choice there. Um, but yeah, I, I think that they're... I'd be very surprised if both of these talents don't see play. Um, and then obviously Sun King's Blessing is probably going to be the other one we want for raids. So Control Destruction is busted, I want that. And Wildfire is quite good, I want that. I'm going to take Fiery Rush. Okay. So this is my tree complete. I already said why I don't think Phoenix Looms is good. It has very poor synergy with Blaster Master. Um, and if you look at this, we are actually one point away from multiple things that are very good. So Pyromaniac, um, you know, we've never played with this at the same time as something like Sun King's Blessing. Um, you know, getting like extra hot streaks for free to build free Sun King's Blessing procs, getting those procs in Sun King's Blessing whenever you're generally starved for Fire Blast procs compared to being combustion. Like it could be good. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. We could pick up Pyroclasm, Point and Fevered Incantation. Like if I was to pick Pyro Pyroclasm instead of Phoenix Flames, like I've got my much, I've got much better synergy with Blaster Master. I don't have to worry about Phoenix Flames. I can just use Fire Blast and Scorch Weaving. I've got my two good end traits for, um, for single target. I've got Pyroclasm. Like this to me seems like where you want to be and whenever I initially saw this, I kind of thought, like, what is the point of Phoenix Flames? And I guess I'll save that for the feedback part, but I'll... It is definitely an interesting question, but I'll try and make what I think is an AoE build, because going through that tree there, you see we miss kind of a lot of things down the right-hand side. So I'll go show them off now. Um, if I was to go into Improved Flame Strike, Conflag, whatever, Flame Patch... Same talent as it is today. Uh, leaves a patch on the grind that does damn. We have a choice between Molten Skyfall or Incendiary Explosions. So Molten Skyfall is damaging an enemy with 30 Fireballs of Pyroblast. Calls down a f uh, calls your next Fireball to call down a Meteor on the target. And enemies damaged by Flame Patch have a 5% chance to erupt into a Living Bomb. So the Incendiary 
uh, eruptions one it's the first part of living bomb it's not the second part so if it procs and i get a living bomb on them it will explode and create more living bombs um it's not just the secondary part it does have an internal cooldown uh but you know the proc chance is quite high i think you'd be expecting to proc this like more than every 10 seconds uh, if you're an aoe then we have living bomb itself um i think they need to do something with this, this, this ability i don't think the square root scaling is quite working out for it i don't know if it still has square root scaling on uh shadow or dragon lands alpha but i would like to see something done this this choice is really weird because it seems when you go down this side of the tree you're you know you're going for flame patch you're going for living bomb you probably want to end up in fire frenzy for aoe and it's like why is molten skyfall here it, it just it doesn't really make sense to me um it might be there for pvp maybe incendiary eruptions is just so bad in pvp and you might want to come down here in pvp for another reason but like i don't know are pvpers going for like ignite damage on pyroclasm like i don't think so i, I think this is a weird choice but if it was just incendiary eruptions i think we're fine with that so we probably want blaster master we want our ignite damage we want fever and incantation and we want fire frenzy so where have we put too many points in yeah, so for Mythic Plus, we're probably dropping the Scorch Talents for a start. Um, we'll try to keep Searing Touch. Searing Touch is obviously quite good in Mythic Plus because you can Scorch Snipe on low mobs. So if I went Wildfire, let's just say, and our Fiery Rush. So we do actually have one more point to spare, which might go in Phoenix Flames. Okay. So this, is, this would be like my initial impressions of a Mythic Plus build. Something that's interesting here is like i feel like i want to go in here for mythic plus like i want to get my phoenix flames i want to get my extra charges and phoenix flames i maybe want like both of these talents are good for aoe this is good for aoe but like i had to come down this way and then there's other talents that are just kind of mandatory and i don't know i mean i guess i can drop searing touch for alex Strauss's fury but i don't even know if that's worth it can i drop scorch or that nook my hill tree i can Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, I can obviously drop these things to get that, but these are quite good, and then it's like, even if I do pick these, is it better than just Fire Mind? I don't know, I, I think there's a... I think the Fire Tree is good. I think it's probably the best out of the Mage specs, but I do think there's some things that are oddly placed. Uh, mainly incendiary eruptions, Alex Shaz's Fury. I've already said I think the Cauterize should be in the general tree and I think it should be split between Greater Invis. I think if like Combustion moved up to where Cauterize is and this was a talent that gave you your mastery buff during Combustion and then this could be like a duration talent and then maybe there'd be a bit more of a choice here. Um, or maybe this could be a talent that buffs the mastery further. Not sure, but I, I think the Cauterize should definitely be over here. Move Combustion up. Um... And yeah, like I was saying in the single target sec section, what is the point of Phoenix Flames? So people were asking for Phoenix Flames back at the start of Battle for Azeroth. And that's not because they actually wanted Phoenix Flames back. That's because they hated hard casting and combustion. Um, as we went through BFA, we saw we got stuff like Lucid Dreams, we got the Mechagon Bracers, and people were just happy enough just firing fire blasts in combustion, and like nobody was asking for Phoenix Flames back by the end of BFA. People were pretty happy with the way it was. And then Phoenix came, Flames came back, it's a buggy mess, it's an unresponsive mess, and then suddenly it's like, okay, do we actually want this spell? Right now it spreads Ignite, and it works to kind of pad out a little bit in between fire blasts and combustion. But with Fiery Rush, like, you don't press Phoenix Flames that much during Combustion. Uh, at least during your main Combustion. And then if it's not expreading Ignite, it doesn't auto-crit baseline. It doesn't have any other interaction with the kit. Like, what's the point? And I, I think that Blizzard should ask themselves that and really think about where they want the spell to end up. Because, I don't know, it's... Uh, if we can just avoid it in the tree, like, I don't know, I could definitely see us avoiding it in the tree, because th this seems like a pretty good setup for raid. I'm not sure what I would do with Phoenix Flames, honestly. Um, I think I would maybe turn it into, like, a proc, or maybe bring back the Chain Lightning effect on Phoenix Flames that 
was an artifact trait. Like, the spell definitely needs something. Um, this is kind of a first impressions video, and I don't have an idea right now. But the spell definitely needs something. Um, because it's just really, really unappealing right now. And it needs its bugs fixed. But anyway, this is pretty good. I think there are good choices here. It's not perfect, but it's definitely the best of the mage trees. And I would probably consider it an above average tree from what I've seen so far. Capstones are good choices. Good choices between Fiery Rush. Um, yeah, the, the AoE is a little bit weird. It seems the two sides of the tree are pulling you in different directions. But happy to see where Ignite's landing. Happy to see a couple of these spells back. Um, yeah, good. I like this one. Um, yeah. Uh, so if you're interested, I do have videos on the Frost and Arcane trees as well, as well as the general tree that I plugged at the start. You should probably watch before this video, but, you know, better late than never. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.